chosen was where you were chosen was back with another powerful and productive video right this video uh is going to be a little lengthy all right so if you need to drink something just get your cup of coffee or tea or water by you and then um, watch the entire video right because in this video i'll be talking about um eight types of chosen ones that we have is going to help you to discover uh, which type of chosen one that you are all right and i'll also be briefly explaining um who a chosen one is all right great so without much talk let's delve deep into the topic for today all right great um so before then who is a chosen one all right and um before i answer the question who a chosen one is um i want to first of all explain what is meant by chosen right when we say chosen um someone is chosen it means um the person is being ordained okay or selected or elected or appointed all right by who that's the next question you're gonna ask all right so you can be ordained by the holy spirit by god you can be selected by people you can be elected by people you can be elected by a clan by a family by a society by a community by a nation to lead to lead them right great um all such people you are chosen right through whichever means whether um elections or appointment or you know ordain or you know um you are chosen okay so that is the meaning so a chosen one um is someone who is being ordained appointed elected um who has been selected to lead right to lead a group of people this group of people could be nation it could be country it could be the world it could be uh you know society it could be community it could be an institution an organization it could be a family it could be a clan or whatever okay great um so that is just by the way now let's um break down the eight types of chosen ones that we have great um so the number one of chosen ones that we have is the apostles okay the apostles are chosen ones and um jesus christ was the one who brought about this um apostleship okay um he has um about 12 apostles all right uh, which i believe you know them um james Bartholomew, matthew and um peter and, and others all right great so they were the 12 apostles but after jesus christ and uh, his apostle his 12 apostles you know there was another apostle um which happens to be apostle paul right which i believe you also read about him okay great so you can be chosen to be an apostle but there are three qualifications that uh will make you an apostle or that makes you an apostle okay an apostle um must be a witness of um, jesus christ after his death okay after his resurrection you must be an eyewitness of his um resurrection that is after his death okay so that is one qualification the next qualification is um you must be chosen by the holy spirit or the holy ghost right so that is the second qualification the third qualification is um you must minister and your ministration must be backed with signs and wonders all right great and these are things that follow um the 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 apostle apostle paul um jesus christ himself was one all right um he teaches he preaches with signs and wonders you know um he was he prophesied to people he healed the blind he healed the leopard he, you know and a whole cast demons out of um you know those who were demon possessed and you know raised lazarus from the dead so there were a lot of signs and wonders that jesus christ really performed right so he is a chosen one of that standard okay great um but before jesus christ came there were people that were 
operating okay also operating using the power of god and this brings us to the second types of uh second type the the, the next type of um you know um chosen ones which are prophets or seers or oracles okay um you know in the olden days you know um people has to go to prophet to the oracles to the seers to you know acts of you know um if there is a war they will go and find out whether they're gonna win the war or um whether they're going to lose right so before they go to the war they know they know their fate okay that they are either gonna win or lose okay um they see the prophet or the seers or the oracles they consult such people all right and this remind me of a story that i read um titled um, the gods are not to be blamed by ola routine and um you see a young back a young a young boy was given birth to and as he was given birth to he was sent to the gods that is the oracle um they want to know the destiny of the boy and as they find out the destiny of the boy the destiny of the boy is that when the boy grows up the boy is going to um kill his father and marry and marry his mother right marry his mother and um this was a, a very bad destiny that is to them so they wanted to kill the boy um so they send the boy to um the evil forest okay so that animals like wild animals maybe tigers or lions or whatever will come and devour the boy and the boy would die in the evil forest um but unfortunately you know destiny is so strong um a hunter was hunting and met this boy brought this boy home took care of this boy and later blah 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 the boy grew up and you know the destiny has to be fulfilled it happened that this boy um really killed the father and marry um his own mother all right um that is just an example that i've to 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 help you understand all right great so that is um the second type of chosen one that is the prophet then we have um the third type of chosen ones who are the teachers okay the teachers um this could be the elders okay we have elders in society or in community in africa we have so many elders people that are old you know um that teaches the young ones the way out the way in life because they have been in this life for so long and you know they know so much about life so they will sit you down they will tell you stories they will tell you things to do the dudes the do's and don'ts of society, um, what to do so that you, you have a long life, you know, how to live a good spiritual, uh, life or path and stuff. So we have the teachers, um, elders are teachers. We have, um, the gurus, the gurus are teachers. We have the sage, the sage are teachers, right? All these people, um, are teachers. Okay. Then we have those that, uh, they learn and then, as they learn they teach what they learn to to help others okay to help others to help others to acquire knowledge you know and uh, understanding and, and stuff okay so that is the, the next type of um, chosen ones okay so if you are any of this type of chosen one just click on the like button and make sure you share this video you like and comment and you know uh, we move on okay great um the fourth type of chosen ones uh, those uh, that perform signs and wonders okay um we have people that you know they they, they preach they teach and their preaching or ministration is backed by signs and wonders and stuff right they are also chosen ones okay um then um, the next type of chosen one that we have which is um the feet right is the healers okay the healers um these people when you are sick they can lay their hands on you you'll be well and some of them it's not even that you got to be sick they teach you how to live a healthy lifestyle okay by teaching you how to exercise how to keep fit all right there are people that they will take you through some vigorous exercise and you know you will be fit you know you sweat you your sweat pores and things will open you know your breathing and everything will be normalized they are all healers we have people the dietitians they will teach you um the diet to eat the things to feed on you know you have to eat um food to heal you and 
you know, they teach you how to, you know, balance your diet and so, and so forth to, to live a healthy lifestyle. You know, this is, this is free lifestyle and stuff. They are all healers. Okay. And, um, we have those that when you are sick, they can help you, pray for you, lay their hands on you, you know, do things, you know, boil some leaves and stuff, give it to you to drink and smell some things on you for you to be healed, right? They are all chosen one, okay? They are all serving humanity. If you are a chosen one, you are to serve humanity selflessly, all right? Great. Um, and uh, that is uh, that is it. Um, the next type of chosen one that I will talk of is uh, those, uh, the inspirers, okay? We have the inspirers or... Um, what I call the motivators, okay? These are inspirational speakers or motivational speakers, okay? These people, they will inspire you, they will motivate you um, on, you know, to keep pushing in life, not to give up, you know, and, and you know, keep moving, okay? Uh -huh. So that is it. Um, but before then, thank you, uh, Holy Spirit. Um, you know, the, the teachers, okay, the teachers, um, under the teachers, we have the truth seekers, okay? We have the truth seekers and the truth tellers, okay? They, we have, they are also teachers, they are chosen ones, okay? But they are, they, they fall under the teachers, okay? They, they, they seek for the truth and after seeking for the truth, when they find the truth, they, they share, okay? They speak the truth. They share the truth with people, no matter what. Whether um, their voice is shaken or not, you know, they stand their ground and they share the truth anyway, no matter what. They go ahead to share the truth with you, right? They are all teachers, okay? Um, so that is that is just by the way. All right. So we have the motivators, the inspirers. They encourage you, you know. You see, sometimes you'll be down, your spirit will be down, but, you know, just one inspirational word of uh, motivational sentence is going to unlock you and then you know keep you going in life okay so this type of people are also chosen ones all right they are chosen they are chosen to help humanity okay they uplift uh, your spirits right they help you they tell you you can do it just do it anyway all right when you feel like you can't do it they are there to inspire you they are there to encourage you okay um, and they, 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 they help you, right? And we need such people in our life to grow, right? To advance, to develop in, in the, in this life, right? Great. Um, the next type of chosen ones that we have is the, we have the, um, the conquerors, okay? Or the warriors, right? These people are here not to bow. They are on this earth to conquer. They are here to conquer. They are born to conquer and that is why they are here. They are here to fight, you know, the dark forces, the, 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 the spirits in the, in the, in the dark realms and, and stuff. Right. Great. So they have, they are also powerful people. They are warriors, you know, and they, they, they help in safeguarding, you know, humanity and helping human beings to grow. Right. Uh, in this life. So, they are also also there okay right so these are the um the eight types of chosen ones okay that we have i don't know which one are you okay um uh -huh. the last one is uh you know the helpers okay we have the helpers um those who help others okay those who love care for others and other things all right um you know a helper could be um a person who is selling something a helper could be a farmer who is um, farming to feed humanity. A helper could be someone who um, is driving a public transport to help humanity. All right. Um, a helper could be someone who uh, is even selling some kind of food or something, you know, to feed humanity, you know, giving some form of service. Okay. To humanity. Right. Um, these are all chosen ones and you know, um, we have the humanitarians, they fall under these, you know, then we have the uh, philanthropists, okay, the philanthropists um, also fall under these, 
we have the givers, so the people that gives, you know, these people um, that open this kind of charity organizations, you know, um, these foundations and things that help the less privileged, the needy, the orphans um, in society and and stuff, all right? They are all chosen ones, all right? They are all chosen ones. Uh, so, um, this is it. These are the eight types of chosen ones, okay? Um, now, my question to you is, which type of chosen one are you? Okay? Which type are you? I believe um, the list has covered everything, and you know who you are right there are a lot of people that tr the truth of the whole matter is we are all chosen okay we are all chosen and but some people are just ignorant of who they are they don't know who they are they know they don't know who they really are and you know they just keep living their life in ignorance they are in the matrix they don't want they are not awakened and sometimes they live their life unnoticed uncelebrated you know they they, they 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 are confused some some people too they 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 just confuse all right they confuse they confuse they don't know whether they're chosen or not and but the truth of the matter is we are all chosen okay we are all here to serve humanity to give some form of service all right the only thing is you got to figure out what yours is and stay true to it keep doing it when you keep it when you keep doing what you are born for you have no time to waste on envying someone jealousy someone you know you you just be in your in your on your path all right to make sure you fulfill destiny that's all all right that's all okay um so that is it um remember the apostles can have all the they can perform all the other seven. An apostle, they are powerful, all right? Um, they can, uh, science and, they perform signs and wonders. They heal, they bless, they deliver, they help, uh, they prophesy, they see into the future, you know? When you are sick, they can let, you know, they, are the first that is why they are the first all right and that is it okay so um that's the chosen ones i believe this video has clarified certain things for you all right but if you want to know more about this topic then you have to read first corinthians chapter um 12 verse 4 to the end okay it talks a lot um i there is no if i said i would read you know, time will not permit us. It talks about so much. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit gives them. There are different ways of serving, but the same Lord is served. There are different abilities to perform service, but the same God gives ability to all. You know, these are just uh, examples, okay? Um, but uh, when you read the verse, um, the verse 28, that is first. Uh, Corinthians chapter 12 uh, verse 28 we have in the first place we have the apostles the second place we have the prophet the third place we have the teachers then we have those who perform miracles followed by those who are given the power to heal to help others to direct them and you know those that speak in strange language and other things all right so um the proof test is here if you want to um read more you can um, go ahead and read more and you will get more understanding of everything. Thank you, guys. Thank you, chosen ones. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Uh